I want to make this video on a slingshot. This is a finished slingshot that I finally got done. This is the first one of its kind. Um, I've never seen a slingshot that has the power of this one. We've done a lot of chronograph testing and developing to get to this point. Um, I'm going to show you some shooting in this video that kind of shows what this is capable of, what we're shooting out of it, and what we did to get to this point. Um, so let's see here. So this is what we started with. This slingshot right here was a copy, kind of, of a Madison Parker slingshot. Um, you can see some stuff here because it broke. Um, we found that as we were pushing it to larger and faster balls that uh, we started tearing these off of here. So this one, I've uh, dialed it, redialed it. i got to cut these dowels off. And then I'll change the tubes to a lighter, regular slingshot tube and give it to my kids or something. But uh, So this is one right here that was a testing slingshot. And it was holding up when we were shooting... Uh, lighter loads through it, uh, half inch steel balls, stuff like that, it was doing fine. We started to move up to faster tubes, snappier tubes, and up into the 5 eighths and 3 quarter ball range, and it was tearing the arms off of it. Um, so this was a no-go. We wanted something more powerful than this. Like I say, this is pretty similar to what Madison Parker was making, and uh, we wanted something, we wanted to push this to another level. So. This is the second prototype we came up with. Um, I kind of use this one for backpacking and stuff now because it's a lot lighter weight. Um, this slingshot right here is holding up extremely well all the way up into the 5 8 stainless steel ball range, which is about a 425 grain stainless steel ball. I think I've got to get the paper out to look at it. But um, so this one's doing pretty good up to 5 8 balls. We found we started to shoot three quarter inch balls and push faster tubes, trying to get three quarter inch balls and more power and more energy out of this. And um, and this one started to break on us. Um, so this is good for half inch and five inch balls um, with the tubes we have on it. So now that brings us to my design of this slingshot right here. Um, so how we got to this point, this is a template that I drew up and uh, that I'm making these out of. I wanted wider beams. We were starting to get strike hits on bigger balls on the beams, so we got wider beams, way thicker here, and, uh, and then obviously way thicker dimensions here. You can see how much thicker that is all the way through uh, than either one of these. So we wanted we needed just more strength out of these things, so we added a lot of wood. Another thing we did is we started changing the wood we were making them out of. We were making these out of out of oak, uh, layering them uh, opposite directions and everything, and uh, still not hard enough. So we went to exotic hardwoods. This one right here is made out of paduk, which is uh, about five times harder than oak from what I understand, looking at different websites and stuff like that. When you go to sand it, it, it feels a lot harder. And um, so, and that is its color. This is the Paduke, just raw Paduke. And it's kind of got that orangish red color, really, really pretty wood. So that's where we went with that. Um, I've got another one here that's not finished, still working on it. This one is made out of exotic purple heart. And um, so what we've got is a Purple heart, birch, multiplex in the middle, and then purple heart. This is paduk, multiplex, and paduk. So this one will look really cool when it's done too. I actually am more excited about this one than this one. I think it's going to be a better looking, this is going to look incredible when it's done. Um, we've got um, aluminum pins in there so that they really, really pop out. Aluminum insert through here you can put a lanyard through if you wanted to. and. Uh, so this one just needs to get finished sanding, um, and uh, Purple Heart is quite a lot harder than Paduk, so this one's going to be extremely strong, but they're pretty heavy. Both of these are pretty heavy, pretty bulky. Like I said, I've never seen a slingshot like this at all. Um, this slingshot, there's the Purple Heart, the raw Purple Heart, so you can see the color there. Pretty cool. Um, 
we've made it to cut out and inlaid in all these parts for your fingers. So your hand fits in it just like this. Thumb and finger grooves are cut out. This one's sanded and fit for my hand. Um, so I custom made this to fit me. And uh, so this choil right here fits in my fingers perfectly uh, on the front half. On the inside here where my wrist sits against it or my palm sits against it, that's cut out for my palm right there. And uh, so a lot of work, a lot of sanding, a lot of really just a lot of hours and stuff went into developing and making this. But as you'll see from the video, I, from what I've seen, there may be one that exists, but from what I've seen, this is the most powerful handheld slingshot that I've ever seen. I've never seen any slingshot that packs as much punch as this. Um, we've shot this through a chronograph and we're shooting three quarter inch stainless steel balls, um, which are right here. Here's the balls. These are five eighths ones right here and those are three quarter. So you can see the five eighths balls that we're shooting out of this slingshot right here and that we're breaking the, this slingshot similar to Madison Parker's. Um, these 5 8 balls are breaking these, holding up out of there, and you can see the difference between the 5 8 ball and the 3 quarter inch ball. That ball is just huge, huge. And with the bands we're shooting out of these, we're able to shoot these 3 quarter inch balls at a higher rate of speed than, um, than most slingshots can through, shoot a 3 8 or quarter inch ball. So we're pushing these at extremely high speeds, over 400 feet per second, and um, this is uh, just under 500 grain bullet. So this would be like a uh, uh, 75 caliber muzzle loader ball. So incredible, uh, incredible energy coming from this thing right here. And as you'll see in the video, you'll see these are pretty powerful, pretty awesome. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. And, uh, right on. We'll cut into the videos now, me shooting. Um, this first video shows uh, just me shooting it. We'll put it in slow motion cause so you can kind of see the slingshot going off. I'm kind of curious to see that myself. Be kind of cool. Um, second video is going to be shooting through, um, through a milk jug full of water, which is pretty close. I've done a lot of ammo testing and stuff like that into milk jugs and I end up with pretty decent results as far as hollow point testing that kind of stuff. And these are going clean through a milk jug full of water and uh, just punching a hole all the way through it. And then this three quarter inch ball is. And then the next clip you're going to see is it shooting through, um, what is it? It's uh, it's seven sixteenths thick plywood, so just under half, I think, is what it is. I can't remember. So half inch thick or so uh, plywood, just regular plywood. These are busting all the way through it, no problem. Um, just one after another, and then I have them in a hay bale, and they're burying way into the hay bale, like four or five inches into the hay bale after they've gone through a sheet of plywood. So pretty impressive energy and penetration we're getting out of these. So let me know what you think. And uh, thanks.